almost all the people for whom buildings have been named here were teachers in the first place. Some later got into administrative work, but they were always very much interested in the well-being of students. And many of them taught here for many years prior to having buildings named for them. Maurice Graff was my mentor and longtime friend. Maury was a great teacher and a great administrator and served the university for a great many years. I think the most important thing I learned from Maury, and I think that would be true of the other deans who served with him, was how to be a good administrator. Maury kept reminding us always that the students are the center of this university and that's what we ought to be concerned with. But his impact on this university was perhaps greater than anyone that, that I knew in the years I was here. It was just a delight to have Maury as a friend and a, a companion socially as well as professionally. One of the most pleasant days that I ever had on the campus was in December of 1959 when I introduced in the Graff Main Hall Auditorium a young senator from Massachusetts named Jack Kennedy. This of course was before he had announced that he was going to be a candidate for president. Mr. Wittick was a longtime head of the physical education program here on the campus. Although he taught uh, boxing, which he didn't really want to teach as far as a, a physical education course, it was expected as a self-defense course. And he had a student who kept just kind of egging him on and egging him. So finally he put the boxing gloves on and of course in the process the young man had wished very quickly that he had not prodded uh, his professor. He was highly respected. His, his expectations of their talents and their work was similar to what he was willing to do himself, and he set a very good example. Milford was one of the most gentle and gracious people that I have ever met. I can see why he was honored by his colleagues, all the uh, chairs of the departments considered to name the building after him. The building was opened in 1965 when I joined the faculty in the geography department. We would uh, have lunch together in uh, the lounge and Milford would always uh, join us. He ever had a rather interesting way of eating his lunch. After he finished his sandwich, he'd pull out an apple and his pen knife. And he would sit there and turn that apple ever so carefully with that pen knife and get one continuous peel. And it was absolutely perfect. Here is the um, newspaper article from the La Crosse Tribune published on April 1st, 1951, April Fool. Miss Emma Lou Wilder, for whom the new dormitory is being named, has been a member of the faculty for over 25 years. I was privileged to be asked to open this time capsule. It's been fun for me because I was at the ceremony at the time these items were put in. When I go through this, it brings back a lot of memories. Most people would agree that those were some of the best times of our lives. It set a good foundation in which to build the rest of our lives. These were very happy times for me. She was a very progressive lady, and I think that the fact we're going to have a new building for academic excellence uh, would be greatly uh, supported by Ms. Wilder. I do feel very honored to have my name on that building. I always thought that I might represent all of those people who worked at the university here when I was working, uh, without whom whatever successes I might have had would have been impossible. And I, I thought maybe that building 
could be named in honor of all the people who were serving during that long period of time. The buildings on this campus are beautiful, but it's what happens between the walls of those buildings that makes UWL unique. When students come into those buildings and meet new people and discover new ideas, they're creating memories that will last them for a lifetime. This is the centennial year of the university, and it has been my privilege to have been a part of this university now for 56 years, which of course is more than half of the 100 year period. That's what pleases me most. Our faculty and staff are truly committed to our students. From the custodian, to the coach, to the person behind the desk, all of these people contribute to our student success and to our success as a campus. That's what we need to celebrate, working together as a team to make each other better, and to make UW-Lacrosse a special place. A place you want to be part of. A place to leave your mark. And a place you'll always have a special memory of. In your mind and in your heart.